Dave here, how are you? Welcome to episode number 10 of What's in Arthur's Toolbox. In previous episodes I've shown you his small shoulder plane and I've shown you his brass bullnose plane which is a cracker but I found two more shoulder planes in the box. I knew they were there but I was holding off because I thought you know save some good stuff for further into the into the series. I've got his medium shoulder plane and again Australian cedar box and look at this brass and steel again. This is three quarters of an inch wide. This is an interesting thing for you to see, as a matter of fact. There's my plane. Now I'm going to sit it like that. I don't care what people say. And I'm going to put this one beside it. Look how low the angle, look how low the angle is here in comparison to my smoothing plane. Let's bring the blades up to the same point. So this is a low angle plane. So this is great for doing end grain. This is going to be great for tidying up uh, the cheeks or shoulders of tenons and also for cleaning out rebates or rabbits, whatever you want to call it, or dados or trenches uh, in timber that for, that's going to be receiving three quarter inch timber. In the box, and this is just beautiful, <laughs> in the box are two pieces of felt and that is to receive the bottom so it doesn't clunk. Now if that wasn't enough I've also got a large shoulder plane, very low angle and again beautiful big Australian cedar box. Looking down on the top I don't know what the hardwoods are but I know again it is brass. Ha! How many people out there are going oh my god look at these planes they are beautiful these are works of art Look at the work in all of this body here and the, the base again, it's just, they're fantastic. Remember I told you about when I first received this box of tools. These, cup, these few planes here were the things that put me over the edge. I just, it's amazing. Anyway, look at these things. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, they've got his name stamped in the top rather than in the side. Again they've got this little notch on the um, blade there so I could put a little bit of a timber against there and tap it to, and tap it to re remove the blade. It also has the felt in the bottom of the box again. Amazing. I love them. So there are four beautiful antique planes and they are sharp. Oh here's something. The big fellow is a one and a quarter inch blade, but one sixteenth narrower than the one and a quarter inch blade. So it's one and three sixteenths of an inch in the body, which allows the blade to come out slightly wider to clean up the edge, just that touch, if you need it. Uh, now, people say to me, Dave, don't talk in Imperial all the time. How about we're in Australia, we're metric. So in metric, I think that inch and a quarter is 32 millimeters. So it's probably 31 millimeters in the width of the body. I've got a ruler there, I could check. But anyway, look at that. One, two, three, four. What more could a carriage builder or a furniture maker from 100 years ago desire? These are absolute gems. Okay, again, same thing. Here we go, all the social media. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want. Share this stuff around. This is a joy for me to share these. Uh, I could have just left them in the box here and look at them myself and not tell anyone else about it. But if you're getting a buzz out of it, share it around with other people and let them get a buzz out of it as well. This is so much fun. Thanks again for watching. See you next week.